Right. I'm going to tee this up. Okay. All right. First off, here we are. We're going to look at Saka as an FPL asset. Okay, consistent performance in FPL. Consistent. One of the highest scoring assets last year. Outperforming other premium assets like Salah and Erling Haaland. Goal contributions. He has a high number of goal contributions of 20 goals and 14 assists and 47 appearances. Key attributes. Penalty taker. Right? He's the talisman. He is the man. He is Arsenal star boy. He's on set pieces. He's got high ownership, price justification, regular starter. Okay, these are all the things that we know about Saka as an FPL asset, right? We all know this. Okay, going into game, going into the next game week, game week eight, he's playing Bournemouth, right? He's a doubt. We don't know, or we don't, should I say inverted commas, we don't know if he's going to play or not. And this is where, this is where it comes into play around the FPL cartel. What I'm about to show you might just rock your world. Okay, I've got timestamps of when the Saka out moves from 10 FPL content creators. I'm not mentioning names. No names mentioned here. We're not doing that. But I've got timestamps from when Saka was removed from their teams. Okay. Screenshot one. Right, now keep in mind the timestamp, right? 10.58, right? This is phoning in Saka out. I can accept that to a degree. To a degree. People have come at Andy because they think it was weird that he moved so late. I actually don't think the late movers are the weird ones. That's this is my take. This is the next one. Again, these are all separate content creators. Foden in, Saka out, 10.58 again. Okay, so same time. That weirds me out a little bit. Number three, 10.53. Son in, Saka out. These are the ones for me that I think cause a little bit of concern 10.55 5 minutes to go Son in, Saka out Screenshot number 5 10.44 What happened? What happened between 10.44 and 10.55? For these guys to make this move. Why would they move early? That's early. Quarter two is early to make your transfer. You guys all agree with me there, right? Does anyone not agree with me? Like we all wait till like 57, 58. 10.44 is weird. Let's have a look at another one. 10.56. Again. Maybe not as weird, but something happened around this time. Why would you take Saka out before Bournemouth if you didn't have the news? It doesn't make sense to me. Screenshot 7, 1041. Again, all content creators. These are all content creators. 10.41 19 minutes before the deadline they're taking Saka out uh, Don, do you not think that 10.44 is a, is an early transfer? Are you doing your transfers at 10.44? I'm not Screenshot 8 10 oh no, 10.49 10.49 Screenshot 9 10.44 do you, do you guys see what I mean? Like 
this doesn't make sense to me. Something ha that uh, I don't know if there's some sort of text group going on or what, but there's something fishy about the timings of these Saka transfers. And I am a firm believer that something weird happened on Saturday morning. If we look at my team, which I'm going to bring up now, I can confirm that I am Saka in. I am not a part of the FPL cartel. I was convinced Saka was going to be starting on Saturday. 